Find each of the following, simplifying your answer wherever possible. 1. The integral of sine x over 4. 2. The integral of e to the power 2x over 3. 3. The integral of 7 over 8x minus 2. And b. Evaluate the integral of 3 over the square root of 5x plus 4 between the bounds of 1 and 9. So let's have a look at this then. So let's have a look at part a. The integral of sine is cosine, so let's write that down straight away with a minus, of course, uh, cos of something. And when we differentiate this in our mind's eye, then cos goes to minus sine, so that becomes plus sine of something, multiplied by the something differentiated, which is a quarter. We've got one, so we need four. Four quarters will give us the one, won't it, plus k. So there's part one. Part two. So here, e to the something, let's just write down the e to the something then. When we differentiate this, e to the something differentiates to e to the something, multiplied by the something differentiated, which is two-thirds. We want one, so we'll need a three over two, won't we? Plus k. Part three. So here, seven over eight x minus two is a log. Um, so let's write that down. Log of eight x minus two. When we differentiate, log of something goes to 1 over something, that's what we've got here, multiplied by the something differentiated, which is 8. So we'll need an 8 underneath, and we want 7 lots of on top, don't we? So the 8 will cancel, leaving just 7 plus k. So there's part A. Now part B then. Evaluate this. Something to the minus a half in our mind's eye, isn't it? So when we integrate that power, it will be something... Minus a half add one is a half. So when we differentiate this, we get a half. So let's put a two there to cancel the half. Something to the minus a half, which is what we wanted, multiplied by the something differentiated, which is five. So we don't want five, we want to put the five underneath. And then we've got three lots of, haven't we? So that's what we've got then. And we're integrating that between one and nine. So we end up with 6 fifths, pull that outside, top value, put 9 in here, 45 plus 4 is 49, square root of 49 is 7, so I can write that down straight away, that was the top value, take away the bottom value, put 1 in here, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 to the half is 3, so uh, 9 to the half is 3, so I'll put it down there, so we got 7 minus 3 is 4, 4 6 is a 24, 24 over 5, 48 over 10 or 4.8.